So we've got to do something about the whites. All right, so today I want to talk to you about M&Ms. Now, if you go to Sam's on the 4th of July, or a little bit before the 4th of July, you're going to find these candies here. This is a red, white, and blue peanut M&M. If you go right around Labor Day, you're going to see the same colors, red, white, and blue, because those are the colors of America. No other country in the world uses these colors, red, white, and blue. No other country uses this combination. Only America. And that's why peanut M&M's create a candy just for Americans, okay? Red, white, and blue, like our flag, like our water cups. And as you see, I put the peanut M&M's, the red, white, and blue peanut M&M's, M&M's, in the vending machine here. Now, if you go to Sam's around the 4th of July, you're going to see this candy for sale, and it's going to be about $11 a box, $11 for a container. The regular M&M's is going to be about the same price. Now, a couple weeks, or maybe a month after the 4th of July, Memorial Day, or Labor Day, those three holidays, about two weeks or three weeks or four weeks, if you go to Sam's four weeks after those holidays, if you go to Sam's, you're going to find this product on sale. I bought these boxes of candy for, I think it was $3.99 a box. What a bargain. The regular M&M's cost about $11. What a bargain. Now here's the problem. If you put this candy in your vending machine on the 4th of July or a week before the 4th of July, nobody's going to say anything. Nobody's going to complain because it looks like fresh candy for the 4th of July. But if you leave this candy in here a month after you put it in here, a month after the 4th, let's say, a month after the 4th of July, when people walk up, well, watch this. You're going to see what they do. Look at that handsome man there. Here is exactly what they do. Here's what they're going to do. At first, they're going to want to buy the candy because it looks fresh. They're buying some fresh M&Ms. And a month later, he comes back. Now, he's wearing the same clothes because he's like Einstein. He only has one set of clothes, but he duplicates those sets of clothes. So he doesn't have to wake up in the morning and think what he's going to wear. But as you can see, a month goes by, he's thinking to himself, I'll bet you this candy was from the 4th of July. And guess what he does? He doesn't buy the candy. Now here's what I've seen. I've seen people do this. The candy will go down, it'll get lower and lower, and they will take the regular M&Ms and dump them right on top. But people are smart. And do you know that people have eyes and they can see the red, white, and blue down here on the bottom. And they see these colors, orange, yellow, blue, green, red. They see those on top. And most people are pretty smart. They can figure out, oh, the old stuff is down here. The fresh stuff is up higher. I still don't want to buy that candy. So what do you do? What do you do? That's a dilemma. What do you do? I mean, after all, who could turn down a box of peanut M&M's for $3.99? I mean, I bought four boxes, as you can see. One in here and three on the table. And I'll probably go back tomorrow and get more if they haven't already sold out. But I bet they will because this stuff is gold and they're selling it for cheap. So go out and get yourself some. But what do you do? Now, let's figure this out. It doesn't take a lot of intelligence. Now look at this bottle of M&M's, this container of M&M's. This is a regular color, the regular colors. And as you can see, there's brown and yellow and blue and green and orange and red. But what's not in this box? 
What is in this box that's not in this box? White. White M&Ms are in this box. It's the white that sticks out. It's the white that's causing us problems. The whites, the whites are causing us problems. So we've got to do something about the whites. <clears throat> so what you do is you take the whites out of the group. But if you take the whites out of the group, all that you have left over is this, blue and red. And what do you do with the blue and red? You can't put that in the machine. What you do is you mix it with this. Let me show you. Sorry if you can't see that, my flag is blocking the view. What you want to do is you want to start with a container that's almost full. And you don't want to fill it so high that it's very, very obvious. You only do a small amount. That's probably good enough. Put your lid on, or if you want to have more excitement, you could leave the lid off. And then when you turn it like this, it'll go all over the floor. Maybe the dogs will come running in, your children crawling in off the floor, and they'll eat it off the floor. But you give it a good spin around, and then nobody would be the wiser. It looks like regular M&Ms, and it's not. It's holiday M&Ms and regular M&Ms, but only you and I know the truth. So that's how you save yourself a bunch of money and make a good profit, too. Now, once you have all of the whites separated, it'll look like this. Okay, so that took a little bit of time. I'm very thirsty. Now, as you can see, I've separated the whites from the colored M&Ms, okay? And as you can see, there's a big difference. It's about one quarter white and about three quarters of the red and blue. So what do you do with the white ones? As I said, with the blue and the red ones, you can just mix them in a handful at a time and nobody will be the wiser. Now, what do you do with the white ones? Now, I have three answers for you. The first one is the most delicious. You eat them. The second one is a good answer. You can put these in little Ziploc bags, put like a handful in a Ziploc bag, and keep them on your seat next to you when you're driving. And when you see a homeless person, just hand them a little bag of goodies. And the third way is my favorite. It's a way to make money. And after all, isn't that what we're here for? To make money. If you haven't caught it in any of my other videos, I always tell you to wear gloves. Now these gloves I bought at Sam's Club. And this box cost me, I don't know, $2.50. $2.50. And there's 500 in a box. So, would somebody do the math and let me know what the cost of each glove is? As I said earlier in several of, of the videos, when you work on your vending machine and you're with the public, people are watching you. The person sitting at the desk next to the machine, the person that's walking by getting a cup of water or a cup of coffee, he is looking at you. You don't know it. And you may never touch the candy. You may totally hold the machine parts like this and you may never touch the candy. You may never touch it, but the people that are in that building, the customers, the, the workers, they don't know that you're not touching the candy. Okay, so wear gloves, and that's my, that's my favorite rule, wear gloves. Now, let's go back to what do we do with the white ones. Now, when you're handling the white ones, always wear gloves, okay? You take yourself your regular M&Ms and you dump them in the machine. But Neil, you haven't told us what to do with the white ones yet. Aha, I will tell you what to do with the white ones. 
When you go to the location, you bring both containers, the regular M&Ms and the white M&Ms. You grab yourself a small handful and you pull the you pull the colored ones out and you push them back. And guess what? Nobody can see the white ones. Now here's what will happen. People will come up to the machine, they'll see the machine, they'll say, oh, that's the normal color of M&Ms. They'll put their quarter in, they'll turn the handle, and guess what they'll get? Eventually they'll get a couple of white ones, one white one, or two, or three, but guess what? They're not going to complain because they already paid. And guess what? When they taste it, it's going to taste just as fresh as the regular ones. Now, I'm going to look at the back of this container and I want to tell you something. I just bought this container a couple days ago. This container says it's good until June. June of next year. June 20th, 2019. And if you don't believe me, let me prove it to you. Can you see that date on there? Is it in focus? There you go. Now, that's unopened. I have eaten candy out of my vending machines that I know is three months, six months old. And guess what? It does not taste bad. The only thing that's going to taste bad is the peanut in the peanut M&M. And that's because it has an oil and oils get rancid. All the other candies that do not have any kind of nut product, they're going to taste pretty good you know, as, as you go. It's not going to taste bad. It's going to taste bad the longer you go. I mean, don't leave food in there for a year. If food is in there for two months, trust me, it's going to taste fine. As I said, the only reason we're switching out the colors is because people make judgments based on what they see. So if they see red, white, and blue on the bottom, and it's two months after the 4th of July, they will not buy the candy.